Welcome back. All morning we've been having some Halloween fun with our guests on today's show and it's the one day a year we talk about ghosts and goblins, but our next guests deal with ghosts or spirits all year round. We want to welcome the paranormal researchers, Jean and Suzanne Vincent, two sisters known as the Psychic Sisters, here to tell us how we can conduct our own ghost hunts on a budget. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning and thank so you for this, having us. Is this a special day for the two of you? Being that it's Halloween, or is this something you're just used to all year round? Used to all year round, but Halloween is fun. Just yeah. the kids dress up. And it's, a, it's a very special day. The energy is out there. It's mm -hmm. exciting. There's a lot of spirit activity, so it's a special day. So is Pittsburgh really haunted is what I want to know. Yes, there's many haunted places in Pittsburgh. Really? Many. Oh, we have many, many haunted places. We have the Dormont Theater. We have the Cathedral of Learning. We have the Frick. Uh, we could just go on and on and on. Let's talk about the Dormont Theater. I want to hear about this. Okay. We did a ghost hunt there and we picked up a lot of activity using the dousing rods mm -hmm. and with um, an EF meter. We had a lot of different yeah. orbs flying, people caught with the camera and things oh, like that. Yeah. yeah, we actually at the Dormont Theater, a lot of people came, a lot of ladies came out and there is a spirit there named Ralph who has been haunting the theater for about 35 or 40 years and all the uh, people that work there have seen Ralph, felt Ralph, and so we were able to pick up some activity by using our tools, our uh, ghost hunting tools, and this to bring is, Ralph through. This is video from that experience there? That yes, there? the door. Okay. Oh, most this definitely. Is, <laughs> this is the Hollywood Ralph, Theater in Vermont, right? The Hollywood Theater, and uh, there is a genie with one of the uh, spirit boxes. Uh, she's one of the spirit boxes that we'll be using. So um, then also we'll be using the uh, dousing rods, but she definitely has this, uh, the spirit box going, and I believe a uh, camera. Interesting. Yeah, yes. um, and so you, you mentioned also the Cathedral of Learning, and I had heard that there were some hauntings in the cathedral. It was very haunted up in the American room. Mm -hmm. The early American room up at the uh, Cathedral of Learning, uh, when we went upstairs, um, uh, Martha Jane came through very clearly by using the dousing rods mm -hmm. and they would spin and they would turn and also the people who were participants also experienced it. So Martha Jane really did show off quite a bit and then upstairs the cradle would rock. We felt cold spots yeah. and we felt the mist. Mm. I always ask. It was very interesting. scary and creepy, but all good energy. One and with, I've heard garage. a lot about libraries being haunted. Of course, you have historical books there, and so it seems like an obvious place to be haunted, but you checked out one in particular. Can you tell us about the Andrew Bain Library? Yes, uh, the Andrew Bain Library definitely has Amanda Bain. She's been haunting that place for probably 60, 70 years. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they started to remodel, and when they remodeled, they also had killed her Dutch elm. And when mm -hmm. the Dutch elm was uh, destroyed, she started, uh, you know, going through the halls, turning off computers, lights, and apparitions. And uh, didn't you see something last time we were there? I had, we had seen books being pulled out from the shelving, and it gave a message. And the librarian also said when she's at night working, the book gets pulled out, and there's, like, messages from the yes. labels. Oh. She's a good ghost. So you brought a couple things with you here this morning and, and to kind of help us talk about if you want to do your own hunt on a budget. And so how would you go about doing that? Uh, well, you can use a spirit box. Um, these are rel relatively inexpensive. Okay. And um, they catch uh, like radio frequencies and you can turn them on and sometimes you might catch a voice or a sentence and they're like under like $60. Oh, okay. So if you have like uh, some strong evidence that something might be haunted, maybe it's worth investing in something Absolutely. like this. And this is inexpensive uh, pair of dousing rods. And, what are these and, and how do you and, use them? And what you do is you, just, you hold them like this. Now there is a spirit in here. In this, this, in this building, yes. and his name is uh, Joe, and there's also another spirit who is visiting too, which I feel Yvonne Zanos is in here, but that's why they're doing this activity here, because they're letting you know that they're mm -hmm. using magnetic energy, and this is like, you can do this for like $4, $4. copper wire, copper handles, and this go into a 
oh, go into a building and you'll be able to pick up stuff. So what, they're acknowledging. Does that mean that somebody's right here? Yeah, that's what that means. <laughs> so this is very interesting. The dousing rods are very interesting. These are old school and anybody can just kind of <gasps> pick moving. them up. So oh, it's moving. I'm getting chills. Okay. It's definitely. probably Joe and Eve. But they let us know that they're here. Oh, yes. And you can get yes, crossing, yes, pointing, you know, pointing at you. And there's all kinds of, but these are, these are fantastic. And then the other um, ghost hunting equipment. This is an EMF meter, which um, it could pick up different energies that are charged in the air. And they've gone up all the way to pink when the energy has approached. Um, so right now it's it's in green. So does this mean that there's very low energy at this point? It or? can, if I put it down, a spirit energy can approach, and it can go uh, different levels. Hmm. When you ask questions, it, it, it'll like react to it. Wow! And this is a digital recorder which will record you. Uh, voices so you'll turn it on for a few minutes and ask questions uh, Joe are you here and you should be able to hear uh, if he's very active you'll hear played back he'll say I'm here so this is about thirty dollars and you could probably get this at Best Buy so I imagine you guys probably get a lot of calls to, to come to homes or to businesses to see if there's any anything going on suspicious yes we do I have a question for you we found old photographs in our home and I have been feeling more and more like our house is haunted. What could you, what do you look for if you think that there might be something going on in your home? I would get some of these mm -hmm. and I would turn it on and I would look for the cold spot or the creepy feeling. Mm -hmm. And then I would actually try the spirit box and see if it's, you know, calling your name or giving a message along with just a general recording you can leave this on and just hear if there's like any sound during the night right and now if you feel flashlights what are those about um the flashlight is uh if, when you're in a haunted house or you're in a place that's active you just kind of leave it on and um and and ask spirit if they're here now last night we did do a ghost hunt at the andrew bain library and this kept going on and off on and off mm. for everyone to see and that lets you know you know, is there a spirit in the house? One is for no, two is for yes, it'll blink, blink. So you can use that, and this is for like 10 bucks, you know, at um, Home Depot, which is very interesting. And then the good old fashioned iPhone with the, the camera, the video, for you, start using your iPhone and your camera and start picking up orbs, apparitions, mm -hmm. and some visions. And then last night we did get some shadowy figures, so it's very, very interesting. Um, these equipment that you can use that are very inexpensive instead of the real expensive stuff. And for a yes or no, you can have one flashlight for a yes, one flashlight for a no. So one to blink, one to, yeah, I see. Okay. And they can answer like that. And uh, this has been around for like a long time, but a dowsing, uh, excuse me, a, a pendulum is very, very good also. Just a swing. It'll say, any. you know, is there a spirit in the house? And it'll say yes or no. This is, this is for, you know, $5. Right, you can use that. Which is really great on a budget. Okay, well, thank you for being here this morning. Thank and you. I guess thanks to Joe for sitting here beside me through the segment. If you're interested in contacting the Psychic Sisters, you can look for a link to their website at kdka.com slash PTL. You can also find them on Facebook. And thank you to Jean and Suzanne for being here with us.